So today uh, we want to do what we call the failure prediction models. Uh, the failure prediction, uh, failure uh, prediction, prediction models. Okay, or we can call them a uh, corporate failure prediction models. So these ones, uh, the actual combined or uh, those traditional ratios into a single ratio that can actually tell us whether a government is going to fail or not. Probably in the next one year or two years, but to a maximum of five years. Okay, so the most prominent ones are the, 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 uh, the, the Altman Z-score and uh, the, the, the Tafla Z-score. Of course, we also have edge scores and we also have um, A scores. So today, let me just demonstrate how uh, the formulae for calculating the Altman uh, Z-score and also the Tafla Z-score. So for the Altman Z-score, uh, the formula is as follows. We say uh, Z is equal to, um, we say 0 0.012 X1 plus 0 0.014 X2 plus 0 0.033 X3 plus 0 0.006 X4 plus 0 0.999 X5 where X1 is equal to uh, uh, X1 is equal to working capital Uh, divided by total assets, uh, X2 is equal to uh, retained earnings over total assets, X3 is equal to um, uh, EBIT over Total assets X4 is equal to um, market capitalization over book value of debt, then X5 is equal to um, X5 is equal to we said X4 is equal to market capitalization over over book value x5 is equal to sales over total assets so here's the trick as you can see from x1 x2 x3 and x5 everything is divided by total assets and uh, this one is the only the old one out so after calculating this and inputting them in your formula uh, what you get is you should be able to interpret your results uh, we have this region from 1.8 to uh, 3. So if your score is between these two numbers, that means the gamma is in a gray area. If it is less than this one, then the gamma is likely to fail. If it is more than this one, then the gamma is in a good position. Okay, so that is Outman set score. Let's just quickly go to the Tafla set score. Tafla Z score, uh, the formula is equal to C0 plus C1, X1 plus C2, X2 plus C3, X3 plus C4, X4. Uh, so the C zeros and to C4, these are coefficients. Normally on a question, you'll be given these. Then uh, the X1. Uh, represents uh, what we call uh, EBIT EBIT over uh, current assets and this should be weighted by 53% so it should contribute only 53% to your score then X2 is equal to current assets over current liabilities 
this should contribute only 13%. Then X3 uh, is equal to current liabilities over uh, total assets. And this should contribute 18%. Then the last thing, X4 is equal to uh, X4 is equal to uh, the no credit interval. No credit interval. So the no credit interval is should be weighted by uh, 16%. So the no credit interval is actually a period that a company can continue settling in its debts when we assume that or when it ceases to have any sales. So that's uh, the no credit interval. So the interpretation uh, is 0 0.2. If it is, uh, if your score is less than 0 0.2, then the gamma is likely to fail. If it is more than 0 0.2, then the gamma is not likely to fail. Thank you very much for viewing this video. Please don't forget to subscribe.